Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles. and today's video, we're going to be going over some more Black Friday tips for your business and also some resources. Uh, if you've been following this channel, then the last few videos have been going over various tips as far as, uh, you know, just information that can help you sell better and to uh, make sure that you're keeping your sanity and not getting overwhelmed when Black Friday comes. So if you are interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. I do want to give a brief disclosure. Uh, I am driving, so you may hear some background noise. Uh, my schedule has been a little bit more hectic. I have another project that I'm working on. And so I still want to make sure that I stay consistent with my YouTube, um, keeping you all updated. But I just want to let you know that that's why it, there, there has been some um, lag uh, and some missed days. I think it's been like maybe one or two missed days um, so far this month. But I'm definitely trying to still push out good content. So with that being said, uh, so I am logged into Shopify. Shopify is what I use for my e-commerce site. Shopify has so many tools. Now Shopify is going to, well, if you log into your Shopify account, you will notice that the Black Friday um, picture that you just saw probably will be on your homepage. Uh, right here, it's just going over some tips that you may want to, and also tools that you may want to utilize to help better serve your business during black friday so it mentions break out the discount so you can boost your sales with automatic discounts promo codes or free shipping set up schedule and track everything from your shopify admin so if you click on the create a discount that's going to take you to the section of your um online store where you can create a specific discount for your black friday now if you haven't toyed around with creating discounts for your store i recommend that you do that now especially if you're planning on offering a black friday discount because you'll notice that shopify offers different discounts i have videos on the different discounts that they offer as well in my playlist so um take a look at my playlist you know look at some of the videos that i have on shopify because that's really going to be helpful if you've never used shopify and if you uh, need assistance with creating discounts so they have different discounts as far as the bogo so buy one get one you can do a percentage discount you can also do a dollar amount discount now also towards the end of the video we're going to be going over a checklist uh, that shopify has created and the checklist is really really good it does touch over some of the information that we have gone over as well plus some new information so i'm excited about that this portion right here is showing you another feature that's completely free that you may want to add to your online store when black friday arrives or actually before black friday arrives i've been talking about being proactive in a lot of my videos because that's very important to do you want to make sure that everything is kind of pre-planned and scheduled in your mind so that you know exactly what you're rolling out and you know exactly how you want to roll things out so black friday is a great opportunity like i've been mentioning all this week it's a great opportunity to build uh, more clients more customers it's a great opportunity to spread the word about your brand it's a great opportunity to generate traffic to your website it's a great opportunity for word of mouth it's just a great opportunity in general so that app right there that you're seeing shopify ping is a free app that you can download uh, to your phone or to your um, you can also utilize the app from your computer i believe but i typically utilize this app from my cell phone so when anyone reaches out, any of your customers, if they have a question, they're able to instant chat with you. So they don't have to wait for an email. They don't have to wait for a text. It's automatic. And that definitely helps drive sales. If you do not have Shopify, feel free to click the link down below in this video and sign up for a free trial. And then after the trial, you'll be able to choose the plan that works best for your store. Also, you can create different sales campaigns. So you can utilize like Facebook ads. You can utilize Shopify, not Shopify, excuse me, Snapchat ads. You can utilize just different ads in general um, to help boost and market your business. Uh, the ads typically uh, are going to be different in price just depending on the uh, area that you're looking at targeting, the amount of people that you're looking at targeting. Um, the type of ad that you are promoting so the pricing can be different also it, it can factor it can vary based on the type of uh, platform you're advertising on too so you know facebook may not have the same pricing as snapchat snapchat may not have the same pricing as instagram ads but it does give you an option if you click on the arrow for, uh, right there where it says create a social campaign to kind of play around and see some of the campaigns that are available for you to utilize and connect to your Shopify store. 
So you all know you you probably get tired of me saying Shopify, and that's okay because I'm gonna <laughs> gonna keep doing it. I'm not doing it to make anyone upset, but I'm I'm doing it because it's so important to make sure that you're looking at your business from a uh, overall view, a holistic view, instead of looking at, okay, I'm just going to go with the cheapest website. I'm just going to do the cheapest. I'm, you know, look at the value that you're getting. I understand that everyone's going to start in a different place with your business. I understand that everyone has a different budget. However, you also want to be cautious and conscious of what you're doing to drive growth to your business. So for me, I choose Shopify, not just because it's a great e-commerce platform to use, but because I'm able to link my websites to so many different uh, platforms. For example, I can set up ads from my, you know, I can go in my Shopify uh, website or account like I am now, and I can create a Facebook campaign. I can also track to see how that Facebook campaign is doing through my Shopify store. So everything is kind of linked. I can also get different tools. Um, Shopify has a blog. It's just, there's so much support so much information and there's so much growth you can add different ads on your account um not ads excuse me but different apps so like the shopify ping that we were going over and just various apps there's um visitor counter apps there are uh different email marketing apps i mean you really can customize this website and it's more than just making sure that you know, you have the right colors on your website and it's more than just making sure that you can find a font that you like. But Shopify really goes the extra mile, in my opinion, uh, to make sure that you have really everything that you need to make sure that your online business can do its absolute best. So I'm just showing you here some of the campaigns that you can take advantage of. Now, if you haven't watched my uh, other videos this week going over tips and insight on uh, creating your um, email mailing list for Black Friday, then make sure you take a look at that. I didn't go into too much detail, but I did touch on uh, sending out multiple emails when Black when you do have your Black Friday sale figured out. Um, you don't want to wait too late and you don't want to do it too early. You want customers to remember what you're offering and you want to make sure that you're doing it in a way where it doesn't seem pushy and it doesn't seem annoying because you don't want anyone to unsubscribe from your mailing list. However, you do want everyone to have the right expectation on what you are offering. You want them to have the right amount of suspense and you want them to have the right amount of, um, uh, what, what can I say? You want them to have the right amount of, um, certainty and trust with your brand that they actually are planning to go to your website and not just look around but actually purchase now also this is something new Um, this is another way that you can market this is a text message marketing tool I did not know about this I've I've heard about different text message marketing tools before but um, when I saw that just pop up on the screen that was very very interesting to me very interesting so if you have Shopify, don't, don't be afraid to actually get in your account, kind of play around, see everything that Shopify offers because all of this information is readily available at your fingertips. I enjoy making these videos and I'm encouraged to make these videos because a lot of people are like, hey, Brittany, I watch the videos so I can get an overview of what you know, this is. Um, and so I don't have to spend you know, time going through it and reading everything. However, I do recommend that you still read through everything uh, that is going to be, pertain to your store. I recommend that you take time and you get familiar uh, with using your e-commerce site. But I also recommend that you watch my video. So if there's, you know, questions that you have after the video, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm more than happy to help. So moving right along, um, you can use marketing reports to track key conversion metrics, access marketing initiatives, learn more about your abandoned carts, and inform smarter campaigns um, all year round. So... Um, Like I mentioned a little bit ago, not only can you set up Facebook ads, for example, through your Shopify store, but you can also track. You can also see how well your campaign is doing by logging into Shopify. And I know I kind of touched on that, but that is huge. I think so often we really don't focus on uh, building up our business. We just want to be at the finish line like yesterday, you know, and it's really important to give ourselves enough time to learn uh, how the business is going to grow best for us because one way is not going to fit all there's some people that don't find a benefit with doing ads paid ads they just don't see a benefit with their business and their business has not benefited a whole lot from it now it may be the kind of ads that they're putting out 
It may be the area that they're marketing to. There can be a lot of factors, right? However, the, the point that I want to stress is that not everyone has the same formula to growing their business. But if you are someone that is interested in looking at the numbers and actually seeing how well your ads are doing to determine, hey, is this something that I want to do long term? Shopify is going to give you the option to do it um, because you're able to see it, like I mentioned, through your campaigns. Now, not only can you see how well your campaigns are doing, but you can kind of see the overall health, not even kind of, you can see the overall health of your store. Shopify is going to tell you how many visitors you have per day. It's going to show you, uh, you know, how much you've made per day. It's going to show you a comparison to how well you're doing this year, Black Friday, versus what you did last year, Black Friday. So there's also a checklist that I do want to get o- uh, go over. The checklist is about, I think there's like 27 So the first one is prepare early for customers who have already started researching. Um, And you can kind of go ahead and read that as well on your time. Uh, The second tip is craft an irresistible Black Friday, Cyber Monday offer. So we should already be thinking about the offers that we are going to offer to our customers. We already want to have that kind of in our mind. And then we want to make sure that we're getting those uh, offers out as far as advertising, you know, no later than next week. You don't have to let your customers know exactly um, to the T every single offer that you're going to be offering, but you do want to give them enough information that's going to entice them. You do want to make sure that you are leading with also a really good offer. So this gives you like an example of uh, common Black Friday deals and like an ad. Uh, So you can kind of get an idea for um, how those ads look if you're not familiar. Uh, You also want to organize your upcoming sales. So Shopify does have a video when you log into your account um, where you can see more information on doing that. Prepare for an upkick in demand. We talked about that in a few different videos, um, making sure that you do have enough inventory or making sure that you are setting the right shipping and inventory expectations on your site. Also, I thought this was pretty cool. There's a website that you can go on to um, to make sure that you're business, your website can hold the um, surge in traffic. Uh, And this forecasting website right here can definitely help. So use your tools, use your resources, make sure that this is going to be a seamless and um, very fun experience for your customers. I'm just going to continue scrolling down so you can kind of see some of the tips that are included. Also, um, the tip that just kind of rolled past is consider creating abandoned cart emails. You should already have that set up, but you can definitely customize it for the holiday. So there's so many different tips on here. Like I said, there's about 27 or 28 different tips. I'm not going to go into detail on every tip. Just because if I do that, then this video will definitely be longer than what it is. It's gonna be about 20, 30 minutes. And this information is readily accessible for you. I just wanna show you and point out the information and the tools and resources that you have available to you. Um, I think so often too, we feel like we're kind of uh, alone in business, you know? Uh, I know a lot of people that contact me, they reach out and they say the same thing, you know, as far as, thank you so much for replying back. I've reached out to multiple different businesses, just trying to get help with mine. No one has replied back. Um, I really don't have anyone to ask questions uh, to, you know, I, 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 I kind of feel like I'm alone sometimes. I feel like I don't really know where to go to get my resources. And I'm not saying that you have to get all of your information from Shopify. I'm not saying that this checklist is going to include every single thing that you need to know about Black Friday in your business. But I am saying that if you are paying for a service, if you're paying for your website, um, it makes most sense to me to make sure that you're getting everything out of what you're paying for. So what I enjoy doing is bringing to you the resources and the information that I've read through uh, that's helped helped me in hopes that it's going to help another business as well. So it goes over things as far as announcing your Black Friday sales, doing exclusive um, peak of upcoming uh, promotions and deals for your email subscribers. Also rewarding loyal customers. So a lot of these tips we've gone through in other videos. Um, 
So a lot of these will be like a refresher, but the tip that went over how to kind of check to see um, if your website can handle the traffic that it's going to receive um, and the forecasting link, the website that we scrolled past a few uh, moments ago, that's completely new. That's completely new to me. So take a look at that. I'm going to do a little bit more research. And if you are interested in learning more about that tool, the forecasting tool, let me know, leave a comment and I'll do some more research and I'll bring another video back going over that. Now, keep in mind, uh, I know we've been doing a lot of talk on Black Friday, but Cyber Monday is like literally <laughs> right after that. So we do want to make sure that we are deciding the direction with our, our store as far as are we going to just do Black Friday? Are we going to just do Cyber Monday or are we going to do them together? Is it going to be just one discount that serves from Black Friday through Cyber Monday or is it going to be two separate discounts that you're going to be offering? What is it? And if it's going to be two different discounts, that's completely okay. But we want to make sure that we're advertising and marketing uh, for both, you know? So it's not just one blanket uh, advertisement for Black Friday, but we have to do both if that's the, the uh, route that we decide to take with our business. So keep that in mind. I really hope that this video kind of brought some insight on the tools and resources that we have available through Shopify. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.